This is the Business of Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. I've got Kareem Bechet with us today. He is a principal consultant at Living Orgs, speaker, facilitator, consultant. Kareem, welcome to our program today. Thank you so much, Derek. It's an honor to be here. You've got, you, you help businesses to become insanely efficient. Your purpose at Living Orgs is to empower organizations towards a clear and agile structure and stronger purpose. And you're an industry leading consultant in the areas of holacracy and building adaptive organizations. Uh, so let's, let's talk for a few minutes. You've helped dozens of companies. Tell me, tell me first though, why, why did you get into this business? What, what brought you to this position that you're in today? Uh, thank you. I mean, I think in, in the vein of what, where I see a lot of successful startups is it's something that I needed that wasn't out there. I started as a customer. So my experience is actually, um, I, I'm originally from Egypt and I moved to Boston where I did a master's in divinity, uh, theological yeah. studies, okay. and then I did an MBA. Um, so I kind of really have the, um, that confluence of the focus on the human element, yeah. uh, but, but also definitely on the processes in the business. And, you know, to think about any organization, it's just basically a collection of people working together behind a singular purpose. Um, and I, I, I got really passionate about clarifying and strengthening both people's relationship to their purpose and also clarifying and strengthening their relationships to each other. And I found that once an organization focuses on this, uh, so much falls into alignment in terms of getting getting to their goals. That's awesome. Can you give me some some kind of some broad examples of, of some companies that you've that what state they were in when you when you started to work with them and how you were able to get them to to maintain focus and and be more efficient absolutely i'd love to so one company that i'm working with are uh, you know a 540 person company and they started out uh, like many companies do with the spirit of innovation entrepreneurship it's where it's what got them to where they are right. but they grew to a place now where that same spirit isn't working well for them any, anymore because mm -hmm. with everybody just being an innovator they're just knocking into each other teams aren't working well together communications falling apart blame is being handed politics are entering the system <laughs> and so it's it's, it's it's very typical in any organization or any structure where the, the, the strengths that made it work are now working against you. Right. So um, what we did is uh, basically a, a, a multi, uh, multi-formed approach. The first thing we did is we approached the structure itself, Derek. And what we do is this thing called organizing around the work and not around the people. This is something borrowed from a system called holacracy. Okay. So basically what we say is instead of, you know, Derek is the CEO, Kareem is the CTO, you know, all these ideas, these approximations that we have that are called positions. Right. Instead we say, let's divide the work into roles, these things called roles. And, a, um, and it's not one person per role, actually. A person can fill up to 10 or 12 roles and multiple people can be filling a role. So instead we think like, what are these discrete bodies of work that need to happen and people can then move in and out of these roles fluidly based on what the circumstance is. And this causes, you know, a multitude of advantages for the company. The first of which is incredible clarity because every role has very um, explicit accountabilities, which are different than kind of job descriptions. Right. They're more like, what are you actually responsible for day by day? And these accountabilities change as the work happens. So all of a sudden you're actually mapping out the work that is actually happening in the company instead of just a few positions here and there. 